Hello everybody, how is it going? Uh, it's a little bit dark in here. Um, tonight is the second night of preparations for going on our trip. Um, yesterday, I didn't have my camera set up ready to go, so I didn't record anything yesterday, but we went down to Mech and I picked up a backpack. I don't have a bag. Usually we go on car trips, and this is our first non road trip trip so usually our stuff is nearby or I can just pack a few things with me and then we you know just take whatever we need and then go but considering we're flying down and I want to carry my obviously my vlogging setup with me and uh, we're gonna be out for the day I want to be able to pack along like probably some water um, the weather is is gonna be kind of a, a larger range so like the evenings could be like six degrees and the afternoons could be like 21 so depending on how long we're out for and what we're doing I probably want to pack along a sweater but I'm not gonna need one for the day so I don't have a backpack a little bag that I can carry all my stuff in so we went down to Mac and I picked up a backpack and then now tonight we're just on our way out to go to PetSmart to go and get Rory taken care of. Um, his nails are a little long. We don't want to send him to his babysitters for the week with sharp nails and they've got hardwood, well, not necessarily a hardwood floor, but they've got hard floors and I don't want them to scratch it up because Rory likes to run around. So uh, we're gonna go get his nails trimmed and his ears cleaned and some more raw food. He's ready to go. Uh, tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? I thought we had something planned. Start packing and stuff so that we're not rushing to the end of the second. That's right, we're gonna start packing some small things tomorrow. All the suitcases out. Mm, that's probably a good idea to bring those suitcases out. Yeah. And then Friday, what do we got going on? Dropping Rory Oh yeah, Friday night we're dropping Rory off. The biggest, oh, wow, that's line. pretty cool. Look at that. There's a train on a truck. And then Saturday is pretty busy because Saturday we get to go to a friend's birthday party and then come back uh, Friday. Hopefully there's some time if it's not too wet or too gross. I got to uh, vacuum the car, clean it up so that Saturday we can go to the States, see our friend Lexi and then come back, relax a little more, pack with a root a little bit, go pick up Kelly because he's staying over at our place Saturday evening and then Sunday morning we're up at like five in the morning to go catch our flight because our flight is like all the way out in Abbotsford that's where we got our, our deal at so that's the plan um, hopefully it all goes smoothly yeah Rory you ready what what is it what is it are you ready what is it doesn't it no All right, and that's it. Just like that, we've got more food for Mr. Rory, and his nails are trimmed. There's no more click, click, click. They're actually very, very nice. It's a cool truck. Yeah, it's a movie truck. Um, and now we're gonna go home and relax for the rest of the night. That's what we do. We, we relax after hard days worth of work. So I just wanted to show you um, a couple of the things that we got from uh, our shopping at Mech uh, for the trip. So again, like we said, this is the first time we've ever gone on a trip without a car, so we don't have any luggage tags. 
Um, so we got these ones from Mech. They are Lewis and Clark Trees luggage tags. They come in two colors. We got them in one of each. Uh, we're not too sure yet if we're gonna use both of them. Kelly thinks, he seems to think that he has uh, luggage tags because he went to Vegas once before already. But now having said that, he may not actually have any luggage tags and he may have just been, oh, I know what my bag is, so I'm not gonna put anything on it. Cause you totally don't have to have these. Uh, they're just a good thing to have to make sure you don't lose your stuff. So we got one in each color. They are, um, one's in blue and then the other one is in an orange. Uh, they were $6.25 each and these ones are kind of nice. They're a little bit, um, they got privacy windows on them. So basically, um, Kind of hard to see and that's kind of half the point though is that it's hard to see even the light you can kind of see there's like some ribbing on there and then when you press it down a little bit um press it down a little bit tight you can kind of see a little more of it and then you like leading up it goes away and then if it's like folded or whatever else it like completely disappears altogether so it keeps it uh kind of your information that way isn't just kind of floating around and for someone to just take a picture of or look at or you know think that they know which tag it is so we're probably only gonna need one um, but we do have two just in case. And then the bag that I was telling you about, it's a Gregory Nano 16 pack. Uh, it's supposedly unisex. Um, they had some women's bags there that were in other colors that were a little bit nicer. Uh, there was a blue one, but it was women's and I, I mean, I don't really care. It's a bag. How is a bag really like women's or men's? Like what makes a difference or unisex? Um, the only thing I could kind of see is that it looked like it was a little bit smaller maybe, like for what the assumption is a smaller frame, rather than maybe wider shoulder straps for a guy who might uh, might be a little bit more broad. Um, so I think that's the only thing. It advertises that it's what they call an everyday adventure carry. Uh, 16 liters of volume, zipped top pocket with key hook, easy opening draw cord, twin side mesh pockets reflective attachments and quick adjustment sternum straps. So yeah, that's actually kind of nice. It's got, um, it does have the cross strap to go like right along here. And then it's got one to go across your belly in case you're going for a hike. Cause this is, I guess, mostly kind of an outdoor bag, but we're going to use it for Vegas anyways. Um, it's got the strap with a clip on the top. And then there is a, uh, a cinch cord inside and then I haven't actually opened this one yet, so I don't really know. Oh, there we go. It's actually kind of locked in there too, which is kind of nice. And then it opens up nice and big on the inside. Um, our receipt from Mech. And then there's a little pouch on the inside as well. It's kind of hard to show, but it's like a little, like a little bag on the inside of the bag. And then like a little loop thing to like secure things. So. It's overall not too bad of a bag considering I don't have one. So now I actually have a bag that we can use for when we go on. Because we, we take a lot of walks with Rory and we do a lot of other little things. So now it'd be nice to have a little bag that we can carry water bottles in or um, GoPro accessories or whatever else we need to do for when we go out. Water bottle holders, there's two of them. It's good for me and Leslie to carry. Um, it's got the mesh backing, which does seem to kind of have some ventilation through it. Um, like so there's a little bit of breeze within the bag it's not just like straight tight to your back your back um yeah that's basically it now 16. um i don't really know what else to say there's some like language stuff that i can't understand uh gregorypacks.com if you want to check it out or mech.com or mech.ca um this bag was 49.95 all together for our shopping spree we spent a total of $69.94 okay guys so that was our shopping trip I hope you liked it 